Hi everyone, this is Angela Wotecki here with a Know How Nerdonia brief tip on how to force a copy using Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, or Drawings. So any of those four Google Apps for Education tools will do um, what I'm going to show you how to do in a moment. A lot of times teachers want to share a document and they want to make sure that students do not have the ability to edit that. Um, maybe it's a template document, maybe it is a sample type of document, but they are okay with students making a copy of that document for their own Google Drive. So maybe you have a template of a document that you are okay with students making a copy of it, putting their information on it, and then turning that back into you or having it as kind of something in their Google Drive for notes or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and make kind of like a sample document. Um, if I want students to respond in maybe a paragraph um, reflection. And then this is where they would type the reflection. And you, um, the other thing you can always do is you can insert a text box here if you would like to do that, or a table is the same as a text box. And then the students would type in this in this um, table there. Maybe you want them to put the date. Okay, so I'm going to share this with students, but I want them to make a copy of this document. I don't want them to actually edit this document. So up here in the URL, you're going to see a long um, kind of mixture of letters and numbers, and then you're going to see a backslash and then the words edit. If you go ahead and you just change the word edit to copy, what this is then going to do is it's going to force the students when they click on this link to actually make a copy of it. I'm going to show you what that looks like in just a second. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this link. I'm going to open it up in a new tab, and you're going to see this pop up. So would you like to make a copy of this document? So then the student, the student's just going to click make a copy, and then this allows them to then go in and edit this document. They're not editing this document. They're editing the copy that they just made, so we force them to make a copy of this. And again, you can do this with docs, sheets, slides, and drawings. I hope you found this tip really helpful, and I think a lot of you will like that, especially if you are using a lot of more Google Docs or Google Slides as templates for students, and you want them to have a copy of it automatically and not be able to edit your document at all. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know, and um, have a great evening.